Hey there, quick video on how to use my FrameX plugin for RPG Maker MZ. Okay, so before we get started, I'll show you the standard behavior of RPG Maker's side view battlers. Sorry, forgot to turn off the console. It shows up every time I do a playtest. Anyhow, this is the standard or the basic output for RPG Maker's side view battlers. Three frames for all motions. And this is the default sheet for side view battlers specifically made for RPG Maker. And as you can see, there's three frames for every motion. Idle, attack, guard, so on and so forth. I also have this other sheet here with me. Credits to the owner of the sprites. I formatted this to match the default format for RPG Makers, although the difference is that it has four frames for every motion. Now let's use the four-framed battler without my FrameX plugin. And as you can see, that did not display properly at all. Now let's install my FrameX plugin. I wrote frame X to set the default number of frames to four instead of three. Of course, you can change that to any amount you'd want. I'll set the default to three to match the standard RPG Maker SV sheets. Now we have ping pong animation and frame speed here, which you can set according to the number of frames you have. Okay, so for the actor settings, Frame X has the ability to access your project's database, so you can configure each actor's settings individually without being bound to the global settings. Let's set up actor one real quick. Remember, the sheet we used earlier had four frames and it did not display properly without Frame X. With actor one done and set up in the plugin parameters, let's test it out and see if it worked. And boom! Look at it go. FrameX does not have any limits to the number of frames you want to use, but I would still caution restraint. This time, I will demonstrate more features FrameX has. But before I do that, let me set the global setting first to five frames. This way, we can make sure that it definitely works across the entire project. Now, as you can see, Actor 4 stopped displaying properly because the global setting we set was to play five frames. And a pretty neat feature FrameX has is you can set note tags to your database to ignore the global settings and have the standard RPG maker setting instead. And to do that, simply write default frames with brackets on the notes section of your actors or enemies. And with that, Actor 4 is now working again, but, if you don't want to use the note tag, you can override the global settings via the actor settings in the plugin parameters, just like what we did with actor one. To demonstrate more on how powerful FrameX is, here's a battler sheet that is tailored to have 10 frames for each motion. And then simply set it up globally or individually in the plugin parameters. Completely up to you. As for me, I'll do it individually. Now remember, we have 10 frames for that sheet, so 10 for frame count in the parameter. I'll set the frame speed to five and turn the ping pong animation off.
And there you have it, 10 frames. Doesn't that look way better than the standard three frame RPG maker has? But the frame speed might be a little too fast, so let's change that. Yep, I think that looks more natural than the frame speed earlier. Well, it has been fun explaining things to you guys. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Enjoy Frame X and happy game deving.